In this video, I'd like to show you guys how to create a simple Pig Latin function. And essentially what it's going to do is it's going to translate English into Pig Latin. And for those of you that don't know what Pig Latin is, I'll show you a few examples. So take the word hey. What we're going to do is we're to convert it to Pig Latin is we're going to remove the very first letter and it's going to leave us with EY. We're going to append the first letter, letter to the end and then add A. So hey in Pig Latin is a hey. Similarly, if we were to convert what into Pig Latin, we're going to do the same thing. We'll remove the first letter of the word, so we're going to be left with hat, and then append it to the end and add A. So what in Pig Latin is hat way? So to get started, we're going to create a function. We're going to use the define keyword, and we're going to call the function Pig Latin. And then from here, we're going to uh, get user input and we're going to store it into a variable called words and we're going to use the input keyword and we're just going to say input sentence and then we're going to use the dot split method because what what that does is it's going to take every word in our sentence and turn it the split method turns strings into lists. So what it's going to do is it's going to take every word in the sentence that we type and take each word as its own uh, element in the list. And I'll, I can show you this right here. So if we just print words and then say called the function pig Latin, if we ran this. So if I typed in uh, hello, how are you? As a sentence, it would actually uh, take that sentence, and each word would now be its own element as a string in the list. Okay, so that's what that does. That's what the split method does. So if we remove this, we're now going to have to iterate throughout our words list, and we're going to use a for loop for that. So we're going to say for word in words, and it's going to iterate through each word we're actually going to just print it out and we're going to use some list slicing so we're going to say word and this this is essentially taking these from the very second letter of each word to the very end so all it's doing is it's removing the very first letter and that's what we need to do so we're gonna add the, the very first letter to the end so we're gonna say word and we're going to go like this okay and then we're going to add a to the end and then comma end is equal to uh, white space and the reason we say end is equal to white space is because by default the print method has the new line character at the very end of it so if we want, if we didn't add end is equal to white space, what it would do is every single word in our translated Pig Latin would be on a, a on a separate line, and we just want it to look real nice and just be all laid out in front of us on one single line. And uh, yeah, that is that is it for this function. Um, if we run it, uh, so for the first one, we can just say. Hey, we should get a hey. Yep, uh, we can actually type in a sentence, run module. We can say, uh, Hello, how are you? Yep, that's uh, hello, how are you in pig Latin? And we can just say, try one more. We can say, um, How is your day? And that is also pig Latin. Um, I actually want to show you what would happen if we didn't do end is equal to white space. Okay, so if we did this and we ran it, it's the translated pig Latin. Each word is going to be on a separate line. So if we try, hey, how are you? Um, as you can see, it just doesn't look quite as nice. It, it looks better on a, the on the same line. So.
but yeah that'll be it for this tutorial um i hope it was fun it's not too hard or not too long but i thought it'd be a cool little tutorial to make if it was helpful or you did uh get any value from it i would appreciate it if you liked commented, and subscribed thank you